I got word that, actually I read that Twitter is actually going to possibly alter the web page code in such a way that you can put in beyond 140 characters. And in the account that I read, which was quoting the Recode blog that is owned in part by Kara Swisher, the sources she is quoting said that there are people who basically, and I'm paraphrasing, didn't understand Twitter, and you can turn left here, by the way, and the effort was going to be made to increase engagement, particularly by those who didn't really get Twitter. Now, in 2010, I got after Kara for saying that Twitter was the Forrest Gump of the internet, and it was simple. I said it's anything but simple. There are some really complex rules of engagement, and if you consider the algorithms, it becomes really complicated, and you can't be effective unless you really understand what you're doing with it and keep going and up here at Broadway turn right. At any rate, understand what you're doing with it. So here comes, fast forward to 2015. Basically, Kara, I'm right. But this time, I own my own media company, so you can't call an editor and you know complain that I was taking your words out of context and all of this jazz when in point of fact, I wasn't. I was at, you get a left lane here and make a U-turn. I was at the Women's National Squash Championships last night, and I was showing a friend of mine who's on his own media company uh, a particular Twitter approach I had, and she didn't really understand that what she was looking at was a person's handle. And she said, she said, there are a lot of people who don't get Twitter, particularly those who are older, and she's in her 50s. So, Kara, it's not exactly the world that you think. I love Twitter. But from the start, I viewed it as anything but complicated. I'm happy they're making the changes. But I happen to think that Twitter is ripe for a competitor.